Hi, my name is Barry Olney from InCircuit Design. This is a quick demonstration of the new scattering parameter import to the ICD PDN planner. This opens up a massive resource of new capacitors. The latest trend is for manufacturers to use touchstone S parameter SP2 files, which are two port files, to provide capacitor data to their customers. Therefore, the S parameter importer allows ICD software customers to import virtually an unlimited number of capacitors directly from the manufacturer's website as they become available. We already have 5,650 capacitors in the capacitor library, but this allows us to enter them directly from the manufacturer's website. The generic touchstone will allow import of any S2P file, uh, but you must enter the capacitor parameters yourself, which is a bit tedious. So to make this more automated, we use the manufacturer's part number and data in the file to extract the parameters instead of having to enter them manually yourself. Unfortunately, all the manufacturers have slightly different formats for the parameters, so it makes it a little bit difficult. I'll now go through the process of entering an S parameter file into the plot. So we can insert above or below, and we can insert from the library as normal, or we can now import an S parameter file. And you'll see that we have a number of manufacturers here, American Technical Ceramics, AVX, um, the Generic Touchstone, Johnson Technologies, Kemet, Murata, Samsung, Teo Yaden, TDK and Vizay. So we'll just pick a Kemet to start with and um, you'll see here that we have all the starter libraries here. So you can use these to start with and then get your own um, as they become available. So we'll look at the Kemet capacitors I have here and I'll just select an, an 0201 capacitor and we import that. And that comes straight into the PDN planner. And you can see here that we have all the uh, self-resonant frequency, the dielectric, the type, the voltage, tolerance, land, and the part number and manufacturer all listed here. So all the information you would normally require for a, a capacitor is here. And you can, of course, export that to a, um, an Excel bomb with all those um, parameters. As mentioned, uh, that's the easy way of doing it, so let's look at the hard way. Now, we could say, for instance, go to a generic touchstone, and this will enable us to enter any or import any S parameter file. So, here I'll go to a couple of manufacturers we don't have. There's Monolithics and Panasonic here and here. So, we'll look at the, the Monolithics capacitors, and we'll select, say, a 100 picofarad capacitor model and we import that and uh, this unfortunately didn't come up with the information the part number isn't available so what we can do is enter the values ourselves manually so 100 picofarad is 0 0.0001 microfarad the land uh, let's say it's an 0201 dielectric maybe an X7R uh, it's a ceramic capacitor voltage 25 volts and tolerance of 10 and OK and you can see here the capacitor has been entered into the list view and again we have all the information that we've put in here uh, which can be exported to the bomb so that's the hard way of doing it um, let's look at another capacitor and we'll go to say a Johnson Technologies and we'll browse what we have in our library here and we'll select a capacitor, a S parameter file, and import that. And again, we weren't able to recognize the part number from that. So if I now go to that library file, the S parameter file, now here's the S parameter file for that particular capacitor. So uh, you'll notice that the file name is quite different from the part number, and here we have the part number. So it's pretty vague, as I said, Manufacturers do, they all do it differently, so you just have to look at the files yourself, or you can enter the, the, the um, parameters manually if you like. But let's look at the easy way first. So enter the part number here, enter the part number, and OK, and it pulls it into our library. So here we've been able to extract all this information from the part number and from the S parameter file, of course, the, uh, the data, the relevant data. 
Now, so we've done that directly into the list view, but of course, um, a better way to do this is from the capacitor library. So if we want to import a chemical capacitor, for instance, we can just uh, go over here and add capacitor, and we can do a manual entry, which we have had all along in the PDM planner, where you enter all the parameters yourself, which is quite time consuming, or you can go to the S parameter import. And what this allows you to do is exactly as we did before, we can browse for that um, chemic capacitor and we just import it directly into the library. So this brings all the data directly in and we can then um, switch to insert mode from the edit mode to insert mode and we can insert that into the PDN plot. And I'll just say no because I don't want to save this library. And there's our capacitor inserted into the plot. So, that's a, just a quick overview of the S-parameter import. It's very fast. As I mentioned, there's actually three ways of doing it. You can do it the hard way from the generic touchstone and fill in all the data yourself from the capacitor. You can use a capacitor part number, which uh, sometimes has the parameters of the capacitor built into the part number. Or you can do it the really easy way and import the manufacturer's listing and uh, that's just what we did then which brings it straight in. Thank you very much.